Welcome to Next Level Intel. So we looked at what a range was inside Microsoft Excel. And a range does not have to be a specific format or structure. It just kind of depends on the use case, really. However, a table within Microsoft Excel has to have a standardized format using headers. And that is what we're going to dive into today. <laughs> I have a blank worksheet open on my desktop. And so if I go up to cell A1 and just click once, I can actually just start typing and it will click in for me. So product ID, this is a self preference that I have just to have a unique value for each row. And so after I type, I can hit enter and it will go down and I'll just type the number one because this is gonna be the first thing in our table. Hit the arrow up, arrow to the right and now Let's have product. In this case, we're gonna create customer transaction data that is based around a lemonade stand where we sell cookies and chips and iced tea and things of that nature. So let's enter in some data. So under product, we're gonna type lemonade and then I'm gonna hit the up arrow and then I'm gonna tab over to C1 and I'm gonna to wanna to get a little bit more specific on the type of product. So I'm gonna hit in type and maybe uh, just hit enter so it went over. Maybe when we want small as a type. And so I'm gonna hit the up arrow and then the right arrow, you could hit the tab key. D1 is customer first name. And I'm gonna hit enter and I'm just gonna populate these fields real quick for us. Now, I don't have a unit or unit cost or anything. I'll do that later. For right now, I see that my columns are a little too small for some of my data, so I am gonna actually expand the width on these. So if you just select any column and go in the middle here when you see the two arrows in the line, double click. And there it will set an auto width for your column. You can right click, scroll down to column width, and set any width you desire. Now a shortcut to getting all of these columns to expand is select the far most column. In this case, it's column A. Hold down the shift key, go down to the very last column, which is column N, click, and you'll see that we've highlighted. Now you can also just click in the first column, drag, and do it that way. And then double click in the middle on any one of them when you get this symbol, and there you go. Now, this is the same when it comes to rows as well. Same functionality. Now that I have the data that I want up to this point, I'm going to select in cell A1, click and drag down to cell N13. And so that gives us a range of A1 to N13. So I'm gonna let go of my mouse, go up to the tab insert, and in the ribbon, I'll see where it says table. I'm gonna click that. And then Excel prompts us with this pop-up here. Does my table have headers? It does. Now, if it didn't and I uncheck that box, Microsoft Excel will create headers for us. So it would be column one, column two, column three, and so on. In this case, I do have headers. So I'm going to hit OK. And you'll see that we now have a table in Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel accepted our data. Our first row is headers, and it knows what it's looking at here. So now we have a table within Microsoft Excel. In the next video, we're going to look at auto-filling data, and we're going to continue to build upon this foundation that we just set up. This is Next Level Intel. Thank you for watching, and God bless.